All right, so uh, here we have my fully functional, uh, it's a uh, orbital shipyard and uh, smelting mining uh, station, right? So, um, so there's two parts that are stand out, they're pretty prominent. Um, this little module right here, all these guys except the RSRU converter are um, from a mod from EL or uh, extra planetary launch pads. Super awesome mod, I recommend you get it. Uh, it's kind of buggy, but once you finish, once you figure it out, or maybe you clash with my own bugs, I really haven't done a whole lot of diagnostics. But anyway, uh, so here's this, the supply chain, if you will. So here's this red canister, and it has metal ore. And then uh, you convert metal ore with this smelter into metal. Here we are, is the metal container. So it goes across this through the smelter into the metal container. And then with the metal container, it goes into a workshop. There's a couple different types. This is a gigantic workshop and it has like, I think eight or 10 different um, seats. The more kerbals you have sitting in it, the faster it converts metal into rocket parts, which is your um, final, I guess, final product. Now you use the rocket parts. I also have a little uh, storage rocket parts right here. Um, this is a hexacan storage, also from Exoplanetary Launch Pads. Uh, they have, um, Hex cans for ore, for metal, and also rocket parts. Uh, anyway, so I left, um, as much as I could, I left the, uh, the liquid fuel tanks. Uh, I mean, I can convert liquid fuel with the ISRU converter from ore, uh, like normally, you know, like stock, but um, the more canisters I have, the more I can change. So, anyway, let's go over to the second most prominent part of this uh, base, it's right here. So, um, extra planetary launch pads. Uh, has a group of objects that allow you to build rockets from your save files wherever you want. Um, so I tried with this one first. Uh, it is the first, um, my first attempt was using uh, this really cool looking space dock because uh, it's cool. Um, but when I tried to launch my uh, ships from it, it would bug out, clipping would happen, and things would just get thrown everywhere and blow up. It was awful. So anyway, I went through and tried them all, and this little blue thing is a second. It's it's separate. You can you can just attach that, and then you can launch ships from just this. I put it in the middle of the, the gigantic launch pad, the shipyard, if you will, because it looks cool. But um, anyway, to use this, um, you right click on the object, you hit Show UI. Now you can select your launch pad here. Uh, the Mark Zero was the uh, my gigantic orbital launch pad. The more things you have attached to whichever you, you, UI you clicked on, the more you could select, but you really only need one, depending on where you are. Uh, so here's pad one, right? So what you do is you select your craft, and let's see here. I, uh, I made a specific one. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was in the... Uh, so you can choose the VAB or your uh, space plane hangar, right? Let's see here, mine shuttle. <clears throat> so right, it tells you uh, that you have the mining shuttle selected and the parts required to build it, right? So the mining shuttle that I have uh, has it's an, an ore canister. I'll show you why in a minute. Um, but uh, you can. So this is just really letting you know how how much you have. Uh, these sliders don't really indicate a whole lot because I'll show you in a second. But for rocket parts, it must be 100% in order for you to initiate a build. I have 1,350 or 13,500 parts, and it takes 1,700 to build. So then you click build. It's going to take 39 minutes, right? So that timer will tick no matter what you're looking at. Um, and this is a relatively low orbit station, so I can only warp um, to, to 50x, right? Which I wish I thought of before. <laughs> I started uh, docking everything to this guy, but um, I'll show you. You can go to the space center. It's gonna take 32 minutes. Cool. That's warp 32 minutes. Close enough.
and here we are some hour ish later now you see the mark zero is selected so you go to the the pad at which was building our craft cool it's done right so uh right after i click save uh you can click finalize build or tear down build will reverse your build and it is attached to your launch pad now right so this is important it took me a minute to figure out too. So you, again, have to change it so that you're looking at the right path. Okay, now this is why the sliders earlier didn't matter. Because now you slide, this is gonna indicate how much of your tanks on your craft or whatever are filled with whatever, or electric charge and all that. So this is where you actually fill them. And it's instantaneous, right? I don't want any metal ore in because I'll show you here in a minute. And I don't need any liquid fuel, I just put these wings on here to look cool. Uh, but I do need all the monopropellant I guess. Well. So then you click release. Cool beans. So now we have a cool spacecraft. How insane is that? Now this opens up so many options because now that you're um, taking off from orbits, or there there are launch pads from extra launch pads that you can put on ground, which are super awesome. Um, now you don't have to work, like if you wanted to go uh, put a station on the moon or whatever, so that there's a lot less escape gravity for you to deal with, but um, super, super awesome. So I'm just going to get out of here. Awesome. Oh good. Let's see here. Well, I'm having a little trouble finding what I'm looking for since I have so much shit in my orbit. So let's just um, select it from the Space Center. So as you probably guessed by now, um, I uh, tracked the new asteroid that was coming in towards Griffin. I uh, found its uh, trajectory, caught it with this uh, called the catcher's mitt, um, slowed it down, brought it into orbit around Kerbin. And then I attached this cool little guy, which these augers are also a um, extra planetary launch pads mod, or a portion of the mod. Um, so, what I didn't know before I initiated this was that, uh, was that Extra Planet Launch Pads has not, um, altered its mod so that metal ore, an important part for building rocket parts, is available on asteroids. But, nevertheless, I'm gonna act like I didn't know that. And rename the vessel into a station. Here's my cool little rocket ship. Cool, so now I will scoot on out. Thank you. 
Now another pro uh, problem with the uh, with their final orbits being so close together is that I have to wait for an, um, a window in, in order to transfer from my space base to uh, the mine, if you will. So it lags behind a little bit since its um, orbit is slightly outside. Probably end up fixing here in a minute. Probably my least favorite part about this whole uh, orbital space docking and missions is that it takes you have to switch between your crafts and space station so much. <laughs> I hate that. Four days. And that's the awesome part about uh, being able to build stuff in space. I don't need any liquid oxidizer you know, engines or anything like that. It's just super handy to handy. Well, that's fine tune. Alright, well, I need to fine tune a couple of things, but one of my favorite little uh, aspects about this particular mining shuttle is an extendable docking port, yeah! Thanks to Infernal Robotics and our extending telescopic piston, I can extend my ass, out, ass into this thing out so they can uh, attach to the, uh, the mining shuttle very easily. There it is. 
And uh, I also use Infernal Robotics uh, telescopic, um, these like uh, rails to uh, put the augers into the ground, which I also launched from. Oh, there's some clipping. Awesome. From uh, the space station. So, anyway, that's uh, my final take on the uh, Extraplanetary Launch Pads mod. The possibilities are freaking endless, so knock yourself out.